Hello, this is a short recording to show you the just-in-time provisioning feature uh, that goes along with uh, our trusted IDP capability. So here you can see I have a user who's called FedUser who's logged into a tenant uh, that I'm calling the spoke. So this is the upstream IDP where the authentication happens. In this case, the user isn't accessing a local application. He's accessing an application um, via a hub. So another tenant, which is also one login where the trusted IDP feature is running. Um, and so in this case, the Office 365 application is related to the hub tenant rather than the spoke tenant. So if I look at the user store in my hub, you can see the Fed user account does not exist. And if I look in the Office 365 target application, again, there is no user account there. So let's look at the user trying to access this application for the first time. So the user is then sent down to um, the hub. Uh, the hub here doesn't know anything about the user at this point, and so we'll need to provide uh, a email address. Um, this is a step that we're planning to hopefully get rid of um, so that we can make this even more seamless. But we're going to actually use the domain here in order to uh, determine where the user should be sent for authentication, which is up to our spoke tenant, where, as you know, the user is already authenticated. As a result of that, SAML assertion is sent down to the hub with the, all the information uh, about that user identity, first name, last name, email address, uh, role information, etc. And as you can see here, the user has now actually been provisioned into the target system uh, or, or into the hub because they are now being presented with terms and conditions because of the security policy that I have assigned. If I hit refresh on uh, the user store, you can see that the Fed user um, has actually been provisioned already. And you can see a role has been assigned because I've got mappings to kick in based upon the inbound um, um, roles sent by the spoke. We're using that to dictate which applications the use should get. So if I look at the applications for this user, you can see they've already been provisioned to Office 365. And so if I hit refresh in the Office 365 view, you'll see the Fed user account has now been added. So here the user can accept the terms and conditions and the hub will then go on and, and redirect the user down to Office 365 along with the tenant. And as you can see, I'm into a brand new fresh account for Office 365.